From the Gateway Canyons Resort in Telluride, Colorado. Wow. Wow is about right. This place is unbelievable. It's so picturesque. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Telluride, Colorado. I'm Paul Bryan. And I'm Lauren Fix, and this is His Turn, Her Turn. There are some places that we go that are nice. There are some places that we go that are very nice. And then there's this, wow. which is spectacular. you got to come. If you've never been to Telluride or this area in Gateway, Colorado, it's a long trip. Took me three flights to get here, but it was worth it. It is just so picturesque. And what a coincidence that we came to Telluride, Colorado for the introduction of the Kia Telluride. It's funny that the people from Kia talked to the people in Telluride and they thought it was pretty awesome. I think this is an interesting vehicle because it fits in with a very, very popular segment, that mid-size SUV. They've told us what the car is all about. We've had a chance to read about it. We've seen it at the Detroit Auto Show. We saw it launched in New York City with Fashion Week. Yes, we that's saw when I wasn't in, wearing a cowboy hat. Yes, and of course they had it at SEMA if you were there, and they got to do some off-road, but you weren't driving, you were riding. Yeah. So now we get a chance to drive the Kia Telluride. Well, let's uh, not dally, as they say. Ooh, he's got all them howdy cowboy kind of comments. <laughs> I thought that was from Fashion Week. I love how you can see through the sunroof. Yeah, I like the two the mountains. sunroofs. And, and the, the mountain is so beautiful here. Yeah, I mean, it really is pretty. When you hit the turn signal in the Telluride, mm -hmm. you get a reading right in the center stack, right it. where you both left and right, which is great. I like that the steering is not real light. I like that there's some effort to it. I've had about 50 miles of driving the new Telluride as we pull into Telluride, which, uh, by the way, it has a, a horrific pothole problem. Obviously, I mean they're huge. There's, you could suck yeah. up a Mini Cooper. The only thing that I'm that I'm walking away with that I wish were different is that I wish the seat had a little more bolstering, both on the back and on the thigh bolsters as yeah, well. Yeah, it's kind of wide. Some people had commented before we got a chance to drive this. They thought there was no auto off. There is an auto off button. It is in the center console. Yeah, it's right there. It's right behind the shifter. There's an auto hold and of course your round yeah. cameras. I it's really right love the cameras. I think they've done a fabulous job. I've got nothing bad to say. I like that, you know, you get 18s or 20s with it. Nice looking alloy wheels. The center stack where they've got the navigation controls and everything. Big buttons. It's, it's big buttons, but you, they wash out a little bit. It's tough to see, and we didn't see it at night. I don't know if those controls are backlit. Yeah, they are. I did see, I did notice that. Uh, <laughs> but down on the, the climate control, they're backlit in a different way. This is a really enjoyable vehicle. And, and we'll, we'll get into it when we get outside of the car. But I've got some very definite ideas on... Uh, the styling as well. You know, they used to say in a Rolls Royce mm -hmm. that it was tall enough that a gentleman could wear a bowler inside the, the car. So it's not a Rolls Royce, but we know now that it's at least tall enough for a 5X resist all to get in here. Yeah, so if you're wearing a cowboy hat, you're okay in this Telluride. And there's connectivity in every row. Two USBs on the side of the seats. That's really, really cool. Yeah, it is good. The other thing that we, we, we touched on when we were up front, but we need to bring into play again, mm -hmm. duality in Bluetooth. You can set up two different Bluetooth. That's fantastic. Yeah. And, and then, of course, when you're back here, you've got that Herman Kardon audio system, which is the best by yeah, far. It is. But this is great when you get set up for seven people. I'm going to go back to the third row now. All right. Since I'm going to crawl back here. Watch and... this edit. <laughs> I'm way back here in the third row. Now, I'm 5'8". There is actually headroom. Should I try it with your hat? <laughs> well, I get to wear Paul's hat. Ah! <laughs> and you know what? It clears. Look at that. Yeah. What I do like is there's two cup holders on each side, two USBs, and lots of room. Not a lot of leg room. It's not designed to be dragging somebody a thousand miles back there. If, you, if I had to, I could. <laughs> so if you're back there yeah. and you want to get out, they, they made a big deal about having easy exit so that if something happens, you're able to get out. Demonstrate, please. Press the button. Kaboom, and it slides forward. That's nice. Yeah. It's, That's the nicest I've seen of any vehicle. It's spring-loaded. Yeah, and then you just open Way the door. Way to go. And you're out. 
Nice work, guys. And the other thing, too, is that, let's bring this up again. If you flip this row down and that row down, almost 90 cubic feet of interior space back right. here. 49 inches from side to side of the entry, and we'll show you the trunk area as well. Yeah, it's a lot. So anyway, that's the look from back here. We'll give you more of a look as we keep going through the Kia Telluride. Lumbar on the passenger side. Are you kidding? All this cool stuff in this brand new Telluride and no passenger front lumbar. No. So then I got back in the car and I said, seriously? So I, I told an executive and I, I was kind of surprised. You know, you got head up display built in, not that stupid piece of plastic. You've got multi usage Bluetooth. I'm like, all oh, these great technologies. Take the $36 that it costs to install lumbar on the passenger side and stop being a freaking cheapskate. But as far as the vehicle itself and, and driving it on these roads, we were doing over 75 miles an hour in the middle of nowhere. There was no one around. And you look down and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm going that fast. Very impressive ride, comfort, good performance, one engine choice. You know, it's it's the one engine, but you, it's a larger size. I'm SUV. fine with this engine. It's a larger size SUV. It's what 290 horsepower. So right. you know, hell, I mean, that's five thousand pound towing capacity. That's a lot. Yeah. So I mean, it's not wanting for that at all. I know? think it's really great visibility, and the fact that you can seat up to eight people, seven standard, eight if you buy the, you know, the, you the third row set up for that. Yeah. I think I think it's great overall, though. It's hard to find anything wrong. Now, Kia's really stepped up their game from a design perspective. And also, this is not a Sorento. This is what they're calling a mid-sized SUV. Well, after spending a full day in the Kia Telluride, they really came through with what they said. They said, they're going to bring everything. Because the only way you're going to win in this category. You yeah. have to have it all. And I think they did it all. I'm going to give it a 99.9%. .9%. If they could add lumbar support on the passenger side, I think they beat everybody hands down. But a lot of the competition offers that. Second row, fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous between the USB chargers, the seating position. And, and you found out with your Stetson, it cleared that. And even in the third row, you could sit back there comfortably with a Stetson, which kind of blew me away. Pricing. Uh, this particular one that we were driving was in the mid 40s. Right. Uh, I Fuel economy is good. Yeah. And I love the Harman Kardon audio system. I now, before we find out that I'm on the wrong side of the fence and that <laughs> there's a bull on this side, I think we probably ought to close. I think so too. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, see what we just recently posted right up there. If you want to see what YouTube suggests, right down here. If you'd like to subscribe, we do appreciate your subscriptions. we got some really cool stuff coming. That's right over here. Follow us on all forms of social media. All the links are down below. Our pros, our cons, including some more information that we didn't get to. No Thank bull. No bull. That's so No, hard. I mean no bull over here. <laughs> I know what you meant. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you Thanks, next time. Thanks, everybody. Take care.